I hope you're taking advantage of your opportunity. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, basic Sorgonomics. And um, that's it, it, that's a thought that's been in my head for a while. And I know, um, I, I mean, I'm inspired and, and, and by a lot of, you know, I've mentioned, dropped the names of the the Seth Godins, the Gary Vaynerchuks, and the, uh, there was somebody else. Tim Ferriss was interesting as well. But uh, so I follow all those things and they kind of like get, at least ideas stirring in my head with a lot of things from the day to day. And that was, that was a phrase that kind of popped in my head um, in partially of that and partially kind of looking at things that are happening, um, especially uh, I'm looking at the way uh, my week is shaping up. And actually, as you're picking this up on Friday morning, I'm probably in a car on my way to Somerset uh, for another interesting opportunity. Uh, but uh, that, that's kind of grown out of other opportunities. Um, I, I, I've, you know, when 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 uh, we'll talk about client acquisition, when it comes to uh, Silvertron Media and of course our uh, Sidekick Media services, I believe organically is the way to go for me. I don't know any other way uh, than that, to be quite honest. And when I say organically, I'm talking like uh, networking, talking with people, doing good work. I believe in you do good work, people will recognize it, and I hope you know, beyond my misgivings uh, about the quality of my own work, I'm always going to be hard myself. I hope that I presented, uh, this is the work I do. I hope I can help you do work. You know, I hope I can help you make stuff, make content, make shows, make, make a video, make, make something, make, make help with your blog or with your website, whatever the case may be uh, in some vein. Um, I put it out there, and I believe it. And, I, and not to be a show and tell, but uh, the show I'm kind of like. This is what I'm doing, and I love doing it. <laughs> we had a conversation about uh, about a uh, you know somebody that's doing an interesting site, and they say follow your passion, and then they show everybody's rock climbing and doing something extreme. But that's not what it's about. I show off the thing I'm doing because it's a thing that I dig. Right? I dig this. I dig helping other people do this and making stuff like this and videos and telling stories. And that's my extreme sport, right? And by presenting that and hopefully being known as the person that does that, again, I, I've talked about in the past, what am I? I'm a podcaster. What are you? You're a writer. Great, write. Write as much as you can, as often as you can. Even if nobody's looking, do it podcasting well i'm mostly doing it in public but you don't have to to be honest you'll be doing it internally for your company you'll be doing it internally for your family if you want hey this is the uh family podcast uh sork family how you doing uh little uh, uh uh matthew's going and doing this and getting getting engaged and so and so is doing this and uh, nephew austin just uh won first place at place at his judo tournament as did his lovely lady as well both of them kick ass. I mean, that's something you could do before you get out there, right? Actually, I kind of want to do a family podcast now. Well, you know, for those family members that do the uh, this is how the Klingon Smiths are doing a uh, Christmas card, uh, which is fantastic, and it's been getting better every year. I think I, I think I want to compete in the podcast space. But anyways, other than family creative rivalries aside, um, I wonder if they uh, I wonder if they listen to this. We'll find out very soon. See you at Thanksgiving. Um, but, uh, you know, but, but you do your thing. And, and, and you do that, and, and there's opportunities to present. Even if you don't think you're doing anything important. Some of you guys out there, um, I know, are maybe involved with something extracurricular out of your 9 to 5. Maybe your 9 to 5 presents opportunities to you. Maybe you're not looking at them the right way. Uh, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm grateful every time that I get a, to have an interview uh, with, with people on some of my shows that are complete surprises, um, opportunities to further a conversation, whether it be for collaboration, whether it just be like, I dig the thing you're doing. <laughs> you know, uh, we talked with a, a, a guy from uh, that did a wrestling RPG, and it turns out it was like, it was a great conversation. I learned so much about making role playing games. I'm just fascinated by the creative process in general. And, and we got to stretch that. And I just, you know, I got a new wrinkle in my bro brain because of that. And I know a guy that makes RPG games, you know? I mean, that's 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 one to index. You know what I mean? Um, or you have the opportunity that um, you're doing video for 
a uh, this one space that may be in the sports entertainment vein. And next thing you know, you're doing a video, a marketing video for a big corporation because somebody there, I've gotten um, at least two gigs off of pro wrestling. At least. Probably more that I didn't know connected initially or they know I do that stuff. Um, that's That's opportunity. You're not just going to do the job. You're also going to present yourself for the next job, for the next opportunity as well. Um, I, and, I, and I worry uh, a lot of times when people go, it's like, you got to be a guy that does a thing because that's what you got to do. Again, kind of the rock climbing example we were just talking about a little bit ago. Um, so I want to, oh, that's, that's, that, that's fine for Sorg. He's a podcaster. He does these things. He gets to take a camera and, and, and do this for all these people around town. It's like, well, hey, it took a lot of years for me to get to that point, to be quite honest, um, before I had a nine to five. And I had to find opportunities. And a lot of those opportunities came from my coworkers. A lot of those opportunities came from a coworker that we did some work with and, and got to talk about things we could do outside of the office. Or a former coworker that went to do other things and was thought of because I presented myself, I presume, in a pretty okay manner uh, when he was there in the work that I did. Um, that's creating opportunities. Maybe uh, you're at some nine to fiver that has nothing to do with your passion or, or something else you want to do. But you, you know, what is the clientele coming in? You know, do you find somebody that's into something that you're into? Maybe there's an opportunity in that. Hi, uh, you know, hey, you're working this, um, 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 I don't know, flower clerk job. I don't even know what that means for the most part. Um, and such and such person comes in and they're a web designer and you're talking about that. And you really want to get into web design more. That's the thing you've been wanting to do forever. And you talk with them and you find out there's a web design group. Here's an opportunity there. Hey, there's a guy interested. You know, hey, there's a apprentice pro apprenticeship program over here. It's reaching out, you know, and um, and recognizing those opportunities as well. You know, well, maybe this is something I can do uh, with this. Maybe, maybe, geez, maybe I should reach out to that person and see if he wants to have coffee and talk further about that web design that I, I really want to do, too. And maybe I can figure out how to move from this space to that space. You know, I, and I think that's that's pretty cool. The guy on Periscope, he lives in Russia. He's talking to me on a podcast. Maybe I'm gonna, uh, maybe I'm gonna talk with him after this on Periscope when I'm done recording, and be like, "What's up? What's up, Russia? How you doing?" And it turns out he's a podcaster from Russia, and then maybe it'll turn out we're gonna do a podcast together. Yeah, jump on my podcast. What are you doing? I have no idea. <laughs> what do you do, Russia? I don't know. I, I can't read his name from from this far away where I have the camera. Uh, you know. That, that could be a new opportunity. And we have so much more, not just like what happens in your day-to-day, -day, what happens to social media, what group do you belong to? We just talked about this week, a guy that listened to our podcast back when we podcasting was a new baby thing. And 10 years later, he's sitting on my couch and he's one of my best friends in the world that I see once or twice a year, maybe. You know, just a lot of opportunities. And I think it's really cool. So I hope you're recognizing that. I hope you I hope you um, go to work Monday, tomorrow, this evening, wherever, whenever you're hear this, and kind of look around if you've been kind of down about your environment and kind of say, what can I do with this? What can I do with the stuff around me? Maybe that's art at your desk because you found a paper clip and you made a little flag and you used the boomerang to make an anime gif and put it on your Instagram of your prospective company logo. By the way, follow me on Instagram at Sorgatron there, as well as everywhere else. Sorgatron.com and check out the newsletter as well. Uh, I hope maybe it was a rant. Maybe you got something out of it. I have no idea. Russia over here, he loves America. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'll tell you about my friends that came over to Russia from America here after the Periscope. Maybe I'll tell you that's some of those stories I heard over uh, coffee. If you have the opportunity to reach out to me, we have the opportunity to do that as well. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.